Good afternoon, folks. Folks, this is Jim Lamberger, the Executive Director of the Community Pantry here in Hemet. Hey, you've uh, been seeing Liz and I, she's on the other side of the camera, but you've been seeing a lot of posts uh, from us, and that's a good thing. We want people to know and see what we've been doing. But today I got a different type of post I wanted to share with people out there, and there may be a lot of people in support, and there may be some that aren't in support of what we're going to be doing effective today. Folks, we have an issue in this valley and in all cities with the homeless, and, and we're no different here. I have been serving the homeless and working with them since 1989. But as of today, this was our last day that we are actually going to be feeding the homeless, which I consider street residents. That's a term I uh, learned back in 1990s. Our street residents will no longer be able to come to the pantry to get food. Now, before you react and start making comments and this get blown out of proportion, I need to explain why. The church that we are here at, Trinity Lutheran, they've spent over $70,000 in the last three years for cleanup, paying people to clean up the property, having to put new high profile lighting system. This one was so outdated that it make the bulbs a security gate. Some of these homeless are the criminal elements and some of these doing the vandalism here at the church are not homeless, we get that. But the pantry has been asked to move from the hospital location back in 2011, from the welfare center where we were for seven years in 2018, we've been asked to move because of the issues caused by the homeless. Well, now we're starting to have issues here. It is in the best interest of our 56 year old organization to stop feeding the homeless here. So what I mean is we will no longer directly feed them, but what we're doing is all of our stuff, and we have probably over a hundred milk crates of food for what we call the street residents. We're gonna be taking these items to the Salvation Army. I've already talked to Lieutenant James. And we also have Pastor Burns, I think his name is, forgive me for not remembering. He's gonna be feeding the homeless, which they're right near the fire administration building in the city hall. So we're gonna give the food to those two agencies for them to still feed the street residents or the homeless, as you know. So please, if you have questions or comments, please direct them to me. Email is director at vcpcares.org. Again, folks, I don't think there's anybody in this valley that's been working with the homeless longer than me. I'm not saying I'm the only expert out here, but you have to understand where we're coming from. We cannot afford to move again. Each time we've moved locations between the two locations, it's cost us $36,000 that we didn't have. So I hope you understand. I hope you continue to support us. I believe every person deserves to eat homeless, criminal element, whatever it is, okay? Don't, don't take that away from me. They all deserve to eat. We just cannot no longer take the affordability of having them come here, trashing it, drug needles all over the place, uh, trash uh, hygiene kits that we've been given. They take the toothpaste, squirt on the windows, on the concrete, and it does stain them sometimes. So I just wanted to get this out there before you hear rumors. I hope you understand. We thank you for the support for the last 56 years. Be good, love one another, and let's all work together to make things better for mankind. Thank you and have a blessed day.